This is Forge for Speed. In this video, I'll be showing you how to repair a leaking brake caliper with a rebuilt kit. This caliper is leaking brake fluid from the parking brake mechanism. Before we start, please consider to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications when a new video is uploaded. To start, you will need to remove the parking brake cable, the retaining spring and also the brake hose. Before removing the brake hose, remember to suck out the brake fluid from the brake reservoir to avoid a mess. Next, remove the banjo ball and be prepared for brake fluid to flow out. Next is to remove two bolts holding the caliper onto the sliding pins. Now the caliper can be fully removed and repaired on a workbench. Let's start to dismantle the caliper. First, remove the nut holding down the handbrake bracket. Next, remove the position retaining bolts. Chipping no good. To remove the handbrake bracket, use a puller to pull it out from this blind rod. Next, to remove the caliper piston, fit the nut back on and tighten it clockwise. You will see the caliper piston extend out slowly. Once the piston is fully extended, remove it by pulling it out. To remove the internal mechanism, place the nut back and use a hammer to hammer it out. Be ready to have a replacement nut at hand. After a few hard hits, the internal mechanism will come free. This is where it was leaking brake fluid because the sealing surface has become corroded and pitted. Clean the surface with a wire brush and smoothen it with a fine sandpaper. This is how it looks after smoothening out the surface with fine sandpaper. Next, using a pick, remove the o-ring and a plastic backing plate from the inside of the caliper. This is the complete repair kit that I purchased which comes with all the necessary rubber components. Now it is always a good practice to compare the old and new parts side by side to ensure it is the same. Install the new plastic retainer first by pushing it in by hand and then install the o-ring. 
Here is how to reassemble the caliper internal components together. Next is to compress the spring and lock the spring retainer. To do this, place a right size socket at the ends and compress the assembly with a G-clamp until the retainer cage securely clips onto the latches. Take note of the guide pin position that needs to be aligned when reassembling the internal mechanism into the caliper body. Before installing the internal mechanism, lubricate the O-ring sealing surface with 3M silicone paste. Then, with a G-clamp and socket, press the internal mechanism back into the caliper body. Now test the internal mechanism by fitting the nut and turning it clockwise. It should turn smoothly. Next, install the new caliper piston seal by pushing it into the groove by hand. It should fit in easily. Then install a new dust cover onto the caliper piston. To install the piston into the caliper, start off by lubricating it with brake fluid and then push and screw in the piston. This is going to be a tight fit because of the seals holding onto the piston body. Once it is securely fitted, use a caliper piston rewind tool to fully compress it back into the caliper. Next, use a pin punch to gently tap around the dust cover to get it to sit evenly into the caliper body. Next, fit the new rubber seal onto the assembly and reinstall the handbrake bracket. Do ensure the handbrake bracket sits in between the two retainer bolts. Final step is to install the fully repaired caliper onto the car and bleed the brakes. Job done. Watch my other video which I have covered on how to bleed the brakes properly.